Turn our attention to men's basketball and Chandler Brunsting, a member of the Dort men's basketball team for the past four years. And uh, that season ended, wow, it seems like a lifetime ago already, but it's only been uh, uh, it's only been a little over a month, really, uh, six weeks or so since the Dort men's basketball season came to an end. And uh, Chandler, I guess, first of all, where, where are you at right now? How are you, uh, how are you coping with this semester with no in-person classes to finish things out? Yeah, you know, it's it's very weird, you know, going the week before spring break, you know, sitting there waiting for the national tournament results to come out, you know, was quite devastating. And then going into spring break, you know, the mind was just racing, you know, finding trying to figure out what to do here for the next, you know, four weeks before we graduate. And then, you know, COVID-19 hits and, you know, it's just really weird getting an email saying everything's going to be virtual. Um, you know, I have a few classes that I'm taking that I have to do homework online, you know, a couple times a week, but, you know, it was just really weird when all this hit, you know, right when basketball season was ending. Basketball season ended and you talked about that, uh, that end of the year where we, uh, where your men's team was, uh, I said, squarely on the bubble when the season ended yep. and I uh, ended up outside and uh, how, how were you, how, Take me back those four or five weeks ago when you found that out. And I guess now that a lot of different things have happened, how has your view on some of that changed? Yeah, you know, it was, you know, going back to that Wednesday night, you know, losing on that um, buzzer beater Mount Marty was, you know, super heartbreaking. You know, after the after the game, you know, no one really knew what to what to say and what to do for emotions. You know, it was very difficult. And, you know, we just knew um, now it was just time to, to hope, you know, we were obviously going to be on the bubble at that point. And, you know, when we watched the, the tournament at coach's house, you know, it was one of the, it was one of the hardest things that I've been through, but yeah, knowing that, um, if I would have known what would happen in the future, you know, um, we just count this as a blessing because, you know, I'm talking to some of the women on the women's team, you know, I couldn't imagine, you know, being dressed up, ready to take the court, you know, getting ready to play, you know, could be your final game, but then having that all come to an end. So, you know, talking to teammates and family members, you know, it was kind of a blessing in disguise that, you know, you know, it was one of the years that I guess it just wasn't our year. Did you get the opportunity to go down and watch your brother play at the state tournament? I was, I was um, able to go down and I was actually fortunate to be one of the, the 70 people in the stands and the, the state championship game on Friday, which was you know, another interesting experience, but, you know, another fun experience as well. Four years ago, entering Dort University, then Dort College, what mm -hmm. were your hopes in terms of basketball and academics when you entered four years ago? Yeah, you know, for basketball, four years ago coming in, I, I really never knew if I would play varsity. You know, coming in, um, was going to play JV, and I was totally fine with that. And, you know, was just going to work my tail off. And, you know, by the end of my freshman year, you know, I was starting. And so, you know, after that, you know, it was just one of those time to keep building, keep building. And, you know, um, by the time I became a senior though for basketball, um, talking with the other seniors, um, one of our goals was to try to make that national tournament. And so that was, you know, always fun seeing how we grew over four years for basketball. But then academically coming in, I was going to major in uh, accounting and then actually double majored in accounting and finance. So with that, um, completing my 150 hours and now hoping to sit for my CPA, you know, whenever I'm able to do that with this, um, coronavirus going on. You were a junior, you suffered a knee injury, missed the last few games of your junior season. Then it was a matter of get back in shape and be ready for your senior year. You've seen a lot of role changes through your four years at door. Yes, I have. What what advice would you give to uh, any athlete, I guess, or any student athlete coming in in terms of coping with those role changes? Yeah, you know, um, it's very different. You know, I think the biggest thing is just to always work hard, you know, to roll with the punches. You know, you never know what circumstance you're going to be thrown into, you know, um, coming in as a freshman playing JV, but practicing varsity, you know, by Christmas break, I'm starting um, going into sophomore year. I uh, start every single game, you know, not even thinking that that even had a chance. And then junior year suffering an injury, you know, right away in the beginning of preseason, being able to fight through that. And then, yeah, at the end of the year, um, completely dislocating my kneecap in order to, you know, come back senior year and 
come off the bench. You know, it was just different roles throughout the out the four years. But, you know, the biggest thing is just to keep rolling with the punches, you know, trust that God has a plan. And, um, you know, if you keep working hard, you know, good things will happen. Finishing up your semester now, and you, you spoke before we went on with the interview that, uh, yeah, you're not able to do the internship uh, mm -hmm. because of uh, some limitations. But post-graduation, when you get uh, your classwork finished, what happens this summer for you? Yeah, so I'll be moving down to Pella. You know, I'm not really sure when that'll be happening, but I'm hoping to get married in June. You know, fingers crossed that, you know, everything works out with that. Um, we do have a backup date planned. Um, but hopefully starting my actual job in Pella at the end of May, also hoping, you know, fingers crossed that that works, but um, hoping to probably move down to Pella here in the next couple of weeks just to start getting settled in. This group that you went through as seniors ended up with five or six guys so either associated mm -hmm. with the program or in the basketball program or on the team. Yep. Um, tell me about the bond that develops over four years. Yeah, you know, it's incredible. You know, these these are friends that I will have for a lifetime, um, especially the ones that, you know, I roomed with. Um, Marcus, Bus, Josh, Chad, Dustin, and Mitch. You know, it was just one, one of those things where we came in as freshmen, not really knowing what our roles were going to be, but, you know, actually uh, sticking with it, you know, all four years and, you know, having one of those classes that you know finally got to graduate you know five or six guys instead of, you know the last couple of years we've only graduated one or two you know this was just one of those friendships that by our senior year we wanted to do something special and so that's what we try to do this year Chandler thanks for spending some time with me best wishes to you as you finish out the semester and uh, hopefully you're able to have that wedding in June and uh, get things going in Pella yeah thanks a lot Mike thanks for having me